With the long evenings ahead and potential further lockdowns, you may be spending more time indoors, searching for entertainment and heading to the likes of Netflix as a result. Previously, I showed you how to watch Netflix in different regions to access more content and regional libraries. But if you're not sure what's playing in each region, it could be quite difficult. Plus, you could also waste a lot of time searching for content. For example, I'm currently in Spain whilst recording this video, and I regularly switch between the UK and Spanish Netflix libraries via my VPN provider. And I recently wanted to watch the 90s classic The Matrix, which wasn't coming up in my home country's Netflix library. So instead of going to each region and searching for it, I used a Netflix global search, which was really helpful. So I thought I'd share this tip with you today. And if you're looking for a VPN subscription, I have a promotional link in the summary below where you'll get three months for free with ExpressVPN. Unogs, which stands for Unofficial Netflix Online Global Search, has a huge Netflix library covering every single country in the world that has the service. Their database allows you to search 244 Netflix active regions to search based on genre, Netflix rating, IMDb rating, and the availability of subtitles. And you can view things like statistics and information in relation to each country here. You can search the IMDb top 250 movies and TV, plus what's new over different periods of time. Or you can simply search for a specific title in the top right hand of the screen here. For example, if I search for The Matrix here, it'll then show me a list of countries where the title is available. And as you can see, the UK isn't appearing in here. But I could watch this in France, for example. So if I connect my VPN to that region, then sign out and back into Netflix. You'll see that I can then view content for that region and watch the movie that I want. And I personally do this over on my Amazon Fire TV stick. But just heading back to that Unog site, there's also an advanced search in here, which you can use for things like IMDb ratings too. So if you're like me and you don't really like to watch ratings below about six, you can move the slider here. And they also have forums on here too, which will also provide you with some helpful information. And there are other sites too, such as flitchwatch.co, that offer similar services too, with catalogues by countries, VPNs, etc. So it's completely up to you which one that you use. However, you may well find that some databases are more up to date than others. And just one more tip if you're using the likes of a Fire TV stick, and going between VPN connections. When you revert back, you might need to shut down and restart your Netflix. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.